Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Well, hello there, everyone. Um, welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This will be the final video of the of the night. I know it's just like, okay, it's already Sunday morning. I know. It's uh, the 29th of September, 2023, 12.38 a.m. And uh, the reason why I'm up late, I just finished watching the Royal Rumble. It was one of the craziest... Rumble like I've ever witnessed and what ever witnessed and watched and it was totally insane and whatnot. Well, I will get to the report, uh, the event center. But before I do, I bought a book today from I bought a book from Barnes and Noble on the on the, on the way home from work uh, Saturday yesterday. Game console 2.0. It's about the history of all the game consoles and um, I think I lived through all the generations of of gaming. So. I will uh, address this book one day. Well, right now, let's talk about what happened at the Royal Rumble match. I'll tell you, uh, the Royal Rumble, because this was probably one of the craziest events ever watched, including the, uh, the title match of how everything was going to go down. We were speculating who was going to be there, who isn't going to be there, and all that. And uh, so it's like, okay, what do you do now, you know? Uh, forgive me if I'm yawning. I'm very tired, but um, I'm going to try to take a shower before, and I just made my bed just now. I'm going to take a shower, do the rest of my laundry, and then get some sleep because we have a humongous birthday celebration to do um, after church service um, tomorrow. So, and therefore, another announcement I'm going to make, the Saturday Shenanigan Cake will happen after uh, the church service. That means I better uh, get up early tomorrow morning and try to do uh, my Card Sharks episode. So, I'm going to... Well, technically it is morning, but anyways. Um, and uh, so here we go. Um, in the kickoff, Roman Reigns is it's upset. You know, they're in the bloodline locker room. He's upset with Sami Zayn and Jey Uso because uh, Sami Zayn did not do what Roman Reigns had asked him to do. And that is not, not to be seen on SmackDown until the Royal Rumble. And then... And then, gee, it was because I was the one that called him Tribal Chief and all that. He said, oh, what are we talking about yesterday? We're talking about t today, you know. We're talking about today, tonight. It's a big night for us, so they get excited about that. And Greg Miller, um, who was part of G4 at one point, in, uh, hosted the This Is Awesome series on Peacock for the WWE. And he interviewed JBL. He says, this guy is my Twitter nemesis. And we went back and forth, and then JBL was still talking, and then... JBL put a pie in in Greg Miller's face, which is hilarious. So, but then, then at the Royal Rumble 2023, Pat McAfee to return on commentary. All the results I have right here, and uh, you know, on commentary, on commentary, and Corey Graves was still dissing Pat McAfee, which is pretty hilarious. And to kick off the pay-per-view will be the Men's Royal Rumble matchup. And here's the order that... Here's the order of entry. Um, Gunter, the Intercontinental Champion, entered at number one. Sheamus entered at number two. And those two went at it. The Miz entered at number three. Kofi Kingston en entered at number four. Johnny Gargano entered at number five. Xavier Woods entered at number six. Karrion Cross entered at number seven. Chad Gable entered at number eight. Drew McIntyre entered at number nine. Santos Escobar was the tenth entrant. Angelo Dawkins was entrant number eleven. Brock Lesnar was number twelve, followed by Bobby Lashley, number thirteen. Baron Corbin entered at number fourteen. 
Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins entered at number 15. Otis entered at number 16. Rey Mysterio, he was supposed to show up, but he didn't. Dominic Mysterio came in at number 18. Uh, Elias came in at number 19. Finn Balor came in at no number 20. The surprise entrant, I predicted that it would be John Morrison. It was not. Booker T, who was there as part of the panel, entered in at number 21. Damian Priest entered at number 22. Montez Ford entered at number 23. Edge, number 24. Austin Theory, number 25. Omos, number 26. Braun Strowman, number 27. Ricochet at number 28. Number, number 29 was Logan Paul. And number three was Cody Rhodes. As you know, Logan Paul... I'll tell you one thing. I, 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 Logan Paul, there were some spots in there. Edge went after the entire Judgment Day. Um, after and, and then he was still chasing after Judgment Day. Edge was attacking Judgment Day until Rhea Ripley attacked him. And then Beth Phoenix attacked Rhea Ripley. This is going to be an interesting situation nonetheless. Then you got... And then you got Logan Paul and Ricochet going at it. And the two collided in midair, which was really crazy. And the shocker was Logan Paul eliminating Seth Rollins. I don't think Seth Rollins is going to take that lying down. All right, and here's the order of elimination. Miz was the first one to be eliminated. Karrion Cross was the second. Followed by Xavier Woods and, and Kofi Kingston of the New Day. The fifth order of elimination... And I'm kind of looking. Uh, was Santos Escobar? Angelo Dawkins was eliminated at number. Was the seventh? Uh, was the sixth entry to be el eliminated? And number seven was Chad Gable. Number eight was Brock Lesnar. Number nine Baron Corbin. Number ten Bobby Lashley followed suit. Otis eliminated at number eleven. Um, Elias was the 12th entrant to be eliminated. Johnny Gangano was unlucky number 13. Um, Booker T was number 14 to be eliminated. Number 15 was Montez Ford. Number 16 was Damian Priest. Finn Balor was also eliminated at number 17. And uh, number 18 was Edge. Number 19 was Omos. Sheamus, who stood in there since since the second, uh, since entering at number second, was entered uh, was eliminated was the twenty first participant to be eliminated. Drew McIntyre follows suit at number twenty one. Number twenty two to second was Dominic Mysterio finally getting eliminated from his matchup. Braun Strowman got eliminated at number twenty um, was twenty third a person to be eliminated number. And Ricochet was eliminated um, at um, was eliminated was twenty fourth entry to be eliminated. Austin Theory followed him at number twenty five. No, um, who was the twenty sixth? Oh, Seth Rollins was eliminated by Logan Paul at being the twenty sixth entry to be eliminated. While Logan Paul was eliminated at uh, was was one of the final three. Between him, Cody Rhodes, and Gunta, and Logan Paul was eliminated at number twenty-seven, and Gunta was the was the last entered to be last participant to be eliminated for Cody Rhodes to be the eventual winner, being the fourth person to enter the Royal Rumble at number thirty to win the match. But here's also a first. It was the first time ever the two finalists in the Royal Rumble drew number one and drew number thirty, and Gunta and Cody Rhodes made that deal. Then there was the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match, Bray Wyatt versus L.A. Knight, and when they decided to dim the lights, it looked like, I don't know, what the heck were they thinking about coming up with this crazy idea? And basically, what and basically what happened was, it looked like one of those uh, glow-in-the-dark skating rinks back in the 80s, for goodness sakes. And, uh, yeah. And, but Bray Wyatt did win the matchup and then, but both men still fought after the matchup. And then Uncle, Uncle Howdy has the was on top of the scaffolding, 
and decided to do an elbow smash off that. I uh, landed on L.A. night, and they said, and they see the old uh, mascots from the uh, Firefly Funhouse. So a lot of not meant. And then the Raw Women's Championship matchup happened. Bianca Belair defending against Alexa Bliss. Belair retains, but then Alco Howdy started playing mind games with Bliss with the uh, pictures from, you know, f f footage from a playground and all the stuff that Bliss did in the past when she was under the Fiends. Been mind games there. And then we go into the Women's Royal Rumble matchup itself. And again, this is how it ends up. Ray Ripley entered at number one, Liv Morgan at number two. Dana Brooke, the former 24-7 champion at number three. Emma followed her at number four. Shayna Baszler went at number five. Bailey went at number six. B Fab of Hit Row for the first time. Entered and at number seven. Number eight was my one of my surprise picks uh, predictions. Um, NXT Women's Champion Roxanne Perez entered number eight. Number nine, uh, Dakota Kai of Damage Control followed by number ten, the lovely EO Sky. Um, Natalia came back entering at number eleven. Uh, Candice LeRae came in at number twelve. Another surprise entry, Zoe Stark entered at number thirteen. Zia Lee entered at number fourteen. Becky Lynch entered at number 15. Tegan Knox number 16. 17. Asuka came back with a brand new look. Short hair. And almost like a dark clown look. And uh, more vicious. But still smiling. Number 18. Dewdrop is out. Piper Niven in. Uh, so she makes a return. Tamina drew in at number 19. And number 20. Another surprise entry. Chelsea Green came in at number 20. And uh, uh, number twenty one, Selena Vega. Number twenty two, the home the home girl from Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Number twenty three, Michin Mia Yim. Entering at number twenty four, it was Lacey Evans. And entering at number five, now Michelle McCool was there at, at, during the women's title match to watch it. But now and then she entered in at number twenty five. No one, no one knew that she was going to be there. She didn't know she was going to enter in the Royal Rumble, but she was prepared just in case. Number 26, another surprise entry. Indy Hartwell, her first Royal Rumble. Number 27, Sonya Deville. Number 8, Shotzi came in. Number 29, Nikki Cross. And number 30, another surprise entry returning. Nia Jax. All right. So, who was the first one to be eliminated? B Fab was the first one to be eliminated. Dana Brooke was the second entrant to be eliminated. Emma was the third. Entrant to be eliminated. Well, third participant to be eliminated. Fourth participant, the NXT Women's Champ, Roxanne Perez, while Shayna Baszler was was eliminated. Fifth person to be eliminated. Natalia was the sixth person to be eliminated. Candice LeRae was the seventh. Tegan Knox was eliminated at number eight. While the ninth person to be eliminated was Chelsea Green. Dakota Kai got eliminated at number ten. Uh, the tenth person to be eliminated. The eleventh person was EO Sky, to be eliminated, followed by Becky Lynch, in, at at number twelve, and 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 Bailey become the unlucky thirteen to be eliminated, while Zia Lee was was the fourteenth participant to be eliminated, at num the fourteenth person to be eliminated. Tamina got eliminated. Fifteen person to be eliminated. Zoe Stark. Was not so sweet. Sixteen eliminated in that matchup, and Zelina Vega was limit was the seventeenth person to be eliminated. Indy Hotwell was the eighteenth person to be eliminated. Nia Jax was the nineteenth person to be eliminated. Lacey Evans was a twentieth person to be eliminated. Zelina Deville was the twenty-first elimination. The twenty-second elimination was Michelle McCool. The twenty-third person to be eliminated was Shotzi. Uh, Mia Yim was eliminated, the 24th person to be eliminated. The 25th person was Piper Niven. The 26th person was Raquel Rodriguez. Let me see, the, 20, the 27th person to be eliminated was Nikki Cross. 
uh, the 27th person uh, lady to be eliminated, Nick Cross. Oscar was the 20, 28th person to be eliminated. It got down to the final two. It was one of the first two that drew in one and two. Liv Morgan was the, was the last one eliminated for Rhea Ripley, becoming the first women's wrestler to draw number one to win a women's Royal Rumble matchup. So, who is she going to choose? Charlotte Flair or Bianca Belair? Flair or Belair? That rhymes. Uh, so, and then it concludes with the Universal title match, the Undisputed Universal title match, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. A lot of kickouts and stuff been happening. It was a brawl, but in the end, Roman Reigns did win. But then the Usos and Solo Sokoa decide to attack Kevin Owens after the matchup. Roman goes to hit him with a... With a um, when they handcuffed Owens to the ropes, Roman goes to hit Owens, and Sami Zayn's like, come on now. It's like, you know, he didn't feel comfortable about it, but then Roman Reigns is about to hand him the chair says, you do it. So, so he was about to, and then all... But then instead, Sami Zayn hit Roman Reigns with a steel chair. And Sami Owens is like... No, no, Sami, Sami Zayn's like, uh... And then... Jimmy Uso super kicked him and started punching on him and then hands over to Sol Sokoa, who Samoa spikes Sami Zayn. But Jimmy Uso, the reaction, he walked away from the whole thing. Probably ashamed of himself for what he's done. He's probably he's probably very, very ashamed. And then And then Roman Reigns grabs a steel chair and starts waffling Sami Zayn. And that's where the bloodline walks away with Roman Reigns as champion. And Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have been laid out. So this will be a very interesting situation come this Monday Night on Raw. The road to WrestleMania officially begins. So, how did I do? Well, how did I do overall? Okay, well, I was picking winners for winners only. Um, I picked Bliss to win. Wrong. I picked Bel Air. I mean, uh, Bel Air won, I should say. I picked uh, Owens to win the Undisputed Universal title. Roman Reigns retains. I picked uh, Bray Wyatt to win the pitchback match. That was correct. I picked EO Sky to win the Royal Rumble. Ray Ripley's my runner up. And Raquel Rodriguez is my wild card to pick to win it. EO Sky got that one wrong. Rhea Ripley won it. And the runner-up was Liv Morgan. And the surprise entrant, I guess, was Roxanne Perez. So, technically, yeah. But we're talking about matches, overall matches. I'm one and three. Meanwhile, the Men's Royal Rumble, I picked Cody Rhodes to be the, uh, the winner of the match. Gunter was the runner-up, so I got that run right in Braun was the wild card pick. Braun did not win, though. But I got the first two, the winner and runner-up, right? But the surprise, it wasn't John Morrison, it was Booker T. And Cody Rhodes ends up winning the Royal Rumble. So I'm 2-3 and three overall in my PTW Event Center picks. So that is it. That's all the time we have on the show. I will see you guys on the next episode of Eric Lemmy's Shenanigans of 1977. Until then, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. An association with a sweet bowl for raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.